I've been promising for a while that I was going to do more educational content to help you all understand this new Vol dashboard that I've created. So here it is. We're going to talk about one of the key concepts that I use all the time in my daily commentary, which is called volatility carry. OK, if you have done the trading boot camps of mine or if you've done the hedge, which is part of the Spot Gamma Academy, you'll have a really solid understanding on this. And I obviously recommend you do it. But I also want to help people who haven't done it understand what we're talking about so they can benefit from our commentary. OK, the term carry is used a lot and it refers to the theta associated with options. Options experience what we call time decay. If you buy options, you lose that time decay. through, And if you sell options, you earn that time decay. So the passage of time is either good for you or bad for you. Now, normally when you earn money through doing nothing, that's called earning carry. So if we sell options, we are earning carry. If we buy options, we are paying carry. So the idea is we need to determine whether or not it's going to make sense to buy options or sell options. So to do that, we have to compare the implied vol with the realized vol of an asset. So if we jump into our vol dashboard, I can show you where, where this all happens. You can see here that we've got the realized vol on the right. So realized vol on the right hand axis is telling me this is for gold. It's telling me that realized vol is at around 15%. So looking at the 10 day realized, because I think the last two weeks is the most relevant time period to tell us what's going on right now. So we're realizing about 15 vol right now in gold. So we're going to compare that to the implied vol on gold. But instead of just using one point of the curve, we're going to take an average of the one week and the one month implied vol. And then we take the realized vol away from that average to get what we call the volatility carry, which is coming out to be 1.81 in gold right now. And now we need to understand what that number is, because in the context of history, that might be an average number. It might be an extremely positive number, or extremely negative number. And that will help guide our decision and kind of make us think, yeah, it's likely to stay around here or it typically trades around here. So you've got to know where it is in percentile terms to understand that historical context. But the fact that it's positive is immediately telling us that we probably don't be long too many gold options right now, certainly not outright gold options, because they're not realizing enough to justify those implied vols. And that means that you may well see implied vols go down if you were to just buy outright options and that would hurt your position. So that's that's why we need to know if it's carrying well or not to help guide that decision. Do I buy options? Do I not right now, depending on what I, what I want to trade? OK, so looking at the historical context, we go to this carry indicator. You can see the most negative carry that we've seen in gold is minus 10 vols. The most positive is around plus 14. So that's telling us the most juice that we've had in being short options or how well options have been realizing uh, on the other side when when gold was moving around violently and the implieds were at a cheaper level. So right now, that positive two is sitting around the 50th percentile, the 40th percentile. So it doesn't really tell us a lot in terms of it's, it's likely to kind of remain in this area. So there's, there's not necessarily anything major to do here from the carry side of things. Uh, these extreme color coding kind of show us if we're in the 90th percentile and above, we're going to be in that bright green. And if we're in the zero to 10th percentile, we're going to be in the yellow. So those tell us really when we're in extreme circumstances. But right now we're sitting in the middle. So nothing to get too excited about on gold in terms of carry. All right. So that's it. We, we screen carry on all the assets that we look at. Uh, we talk about whether it's positive or negative every single day. So now hopefully you have a better understanding of what I mean if something's in positive carry or negative carry, because I'm always talking about whether to be long or short gamma based on positive carry or negative carry. So if something's got positive carry, we, we think being short gamma is probably working better. And if something's in negative carry, then being long gamma is probably be, is probably worthwhile. And I know now the next thing you want to know is what the hell is gamma? Wait for the next video.